Welcome to Eileen Porter, an AF patient who has been a fantastic volunteer for the AF Association over the years, uh, attended many, many of our meetings, Patients Day, events in Parliament in London, has represented us on NICE committees, and has had a very long journey with atrial fibrillation. And Eileen has uh, kindly agreed today to share some of her experiences. So Eileen, thank you as always for all the support you give us. Could you tell us a little bit about the self-monitoring for warfarin? What does that involve daily? Right. Um, well, it's once, at the moment, it's once a week, um, but, I, I had to buy my monitor from oh, Coagutech, I think um, it was called. So I had to pay for that. But now I think some areas do pres um, provide it on prescription and they do that and you get the reagent strip. It's like, it's a very similar machine to what they do um, when you go to the anticoagulant clinic. I think the fact that AF has helped, the AFA has helped enormously um, because um, there was always somebody at the end of the phone if I really, if I did get worried. And you do sometimes have the odd panic about what's going on, but there was always somebody on the end of the phone. And that really is the biggest thing is that you've got somebody to talk to and say, look, don't worry about it. Or as somebody said to me the other day when I, I rang a friend up who works at the hospital and said, look, this and this is happening. And he said, um, I think you better ring the pacing department. <laughs> but, um, but sometimes you know, what you need, isn't it, is someone to reaffirm what really you already know. I mean, if, in reverse, if he'd phoned you, that's the advice you would have given him. It's just that yeah. something needs yourself. You, you can't see the wood for the trees and I think no, you you're trying to protect other people too and not let them know how worried or how ill you're feeling so you put on the brave say I mean I've got a daughter I don't see very often because she's nursing and Covid at the moment and a husband who worries has virtually kept me under lock and key since Covid's come in so you 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 keep the the smile on there because you don't want to frighten them anymore um so but apart from that what's the point in looking on on the black side i mean you never know what life is going to throw at you as i say and i find as long as i've got somebody that i can either confirm what i'm thinking or make other suggestions just somebody you can talk to that understands or at least knows what you're going th um, going through or could through. I think that's what's kept me going a lot of the time. Um, well, I'm glad the AF Association has and will always be here for you, Eileen. Thank you so much. And uh, it's it's never ending, but you, you know, you're so good and you help others as well. And I think, you know, for some people, they would be so depressed, but as you say, that doesn't get you anywhere so you've just got to remain positive. and I think if you're living on your own it must be very difficult oh, yeah. um I you know I've always had my husband here even if I'm frightening him by saying you're going to have to take me to A&E at least it's somebody else there <coughs> and I think that's the I don't know how I would have coped on my I would have coped on my own because I always do cope but um it's very different if if it's you're on your own on there whether it's just to drive you or to say come on we need to do this or, or just yeah. say it, it is yeah 